Hey guys. Um, Alright. Uh, today I wanted to do something that we don't... Most folks using uh, Logic don't do very often if you're using it as like a kind of a home recording thing. But I, I don't know. I find the more time I spend with Logic, the more I... Uh, the more time I I'm, I kind of use it as a, as a pretty cool score editor, um, because it gives you a lot of flexibility over MIDI and a lot of flexibility over your score. Um, so presently, what I have, I just you know, just kind of an empty session here. Um, first thing that I wanted to go over is that caps lock key. Uh, if you take a look down here. Right here is where it says no in no out. That's kind of your your MIDI I/O box. Right? And so if I hit a key, it's going to give me note on and note off. It's going to give me the MIDI channel. It's going to give me the note that I'm hitting, C2. And it's going to give me the velocity of 98. So um, just important to kind of note as you're inputting the notes. See, I'm changing up here. I'm changing my dynamic level from piano, piano. Piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte, double forte, triple forte, holy holy cow. So, kind of cool there, um, but what I really kind of wanted to show off today. Take a look back down here at the bottom. Note on, note off, as soon as I hit three notes, shows me the chord that I'm playing, including extensions. So now what happens if I start recording? Um, I'm going to bring the beat down because I'm a pretty lousy piano player. All right. And let's go ahead and record. That'll do for now. Bring up the score. We've got this nice kind of layout here. Um, here, let's view it as let's view it as a lead sheet. That'll make a little bit more sense. Um, and what I really like is uh, being able to. You can actually extrapolate chords from the um, from the chords that you played. So your your MIDI MIDI input and output here. If you hit those things and it made a chord, you can now apply that chord to your score. So now if we go up here to Global Tracks, let's put something in our Global Tracks. How about chords? Done. Ta-da! So now we've got some stuff up here. It's going to give us the chords that we were playing. Functions, insert chords from Global Track. So now what we've got is this kind of cool thing where it analyzed the chords from the global track up here and applied them down here. And we can go through and, you know, if 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 it interpreted what we played a little differently than we want, you can always just go in there and or click on a chord and hit the delete key and it'll get rid of it. Uh, and you can also kind of move this stuff forward and backward just to make sure that it sits where you want it to sit. Yeah. So there you go, just uh, kind of a cool little thing using logic as a uh, as a means of putting your score together. Pretty cool.